And today what I'm going to present to you is an understanding from the perspective of the guardian consciousness, which is an interdimensional consortium of extraterrestrials, both human and non-human, that are assisting this planet through its ascension cycle with information, with frequency, and with those of us that are sort of considered the ground crew. So again, even though the Lisa Renee part of me did not think I had chosen this particular role in my life, apparently within the soul and higher records of consciousness, I had agreed to this role and they knocked on my door, reminded me that I was here to be a part of the paradigm shift. So again, this information is presented from the Guardian perspective. It's designed as an empowerment model. And certainly, I may challenge you with some of the things I say. I know that today I'm getting nudged to go a little bit deeper than I did last year. I'll be saying things probably publicly here today that I've never said publicly before. So I, pre I appreciate. Thank you, thank you. This is the group to do it with, isn't it? No doubt. Um, this information, again, please take what resonates with your own heart and discard the rest. It's really important to understand this is a model of empowerment that's utilized to assist in a context for what's happening to this planet. It's not the end all, it's not the panacea, it's not for everyone. And this particular information is really designed as an advocacy for the indigo family, the starseed family. This particular family of consciousness on this planet has agreed to facilitate levels of paradigm shifting expertise, whatever that is in that unique way that we are here to hold that space for the planet. This is really what this information is designed for, the changing of the guard, the change into the new paradigm the level of empowerment that's available by having clarity. When we have clarity, we're able to transcend confusion. And without confusion, we cannot be as manipulated by our own fear and self-doubt. So this is really what this information is intended to do, is to bring clarity and then from your own internal discernment to really rid yourself of any fear, fear programs, or any self-doubt about the true nature of your eternal being. And again, as Michal uh, said, which is, I'm so honored to follow him because so much of his information really dovetails what I'm here to speak about as well. It's really an empowerment model of understanding our own truth resonance, our own connection with God is within us. And that is our, our responsibility and, and choice to connect with that and figure out what that is unique to us. So this information is just a springboard to help you with that context. So please take in only what really resonates. So again, bridging the new unity consciousness. We're leaving dualized consciousness. We're coming into the levels of intelligence. This is what I'm going to be speaking of today. The guardian family is actually a part of the architects of creation. What this means is the guardian consciousness works with the levels of the holographic architecture that actually control how matter is projected from antiparticles. So when we understand that our holographic reality, our third dimensional physical plane, is made up of the particle reality and an antiparticle reality. So it's like understanding the particle is the solid physical appearance, even though we're not solid and physical, but it appears this way in the particle reality. The antiparticle part is actually the blueprint. It's the architecture of what projects into physical reality. So understanding this information is like understanding everything in physical matter that has a form or a content is preceded by a blueprint. The guardian consciousness works with the blueprint, understanding the larger consciousness fields of our planet, and that nothing is random, and that there is a plan, there is an organic creational blueprint for this planet. Once you start to understand how to connect to that larger cosmic intelligence, it also becomes an empowerment tool for you because your personal resonance is directly in alignment to the larger piece that you play in terms of your divine purpose, that which you were incarnated on this plane to actually express and to fulfill. So this is a lot of the energetic synthesis material, which is the web community and information that the, the guardians have asked me to facilitate. And so in creating a container, for those of us that are the emerging 
stewardship, the emerging leadership, understanding how to hold space for larger group containers. What you're going to witness me, witness me doing now is creating a container. When you create a container, you create a mission and a crystallization of what the intention is. And so I'm going to share that with you now. The energetic synthesis mission statement, the guardian perspective, is that this information that I'm relaying to you today reflects the guardian perspective of the ascension timeline, which from their perspective is 2012 and beyond. And I'm going to be speaking more in depth about this. And this is intended as support, both energetically and educationally, for the galactic families of humanity. It is this spiritual family that has accepted the guardianship role in order to support the, fa the foundation of cosmic citizen citizenship through unity consciousness as an evolutionary model for this planet and humanity. So this is Earth-based advocacy that's designed for this specific group. There's absolutely no value difference given on the role each being has chosen for its expression. The Guardian Group's mission directive is rehabilitation of the hologram, repairing its energetic architecture, which is the DNA repair, embodying the ascended human protoform, and supplying informational context on ascension dynamics and exopolitic, which is the ET agendas on this planet, and re-educating both human and non-humans to be congruently aligned to the universal law of one. Freedom, fraternity, and the sovereign right of every being to be a knower of God's source is protected by the collective unity vows shared among our universal guardian groups. So it's understanding we're working with a collective energy that has devoted and aligned itself purely to the law of one, that which is oneness, that we are all connected, that we are all sovereign, free God beings. And that really is what the guardian intelligence is about. So in crystallizing that mission, now let's create the handshake. We're now going to connect to the guardian consciousness. And this is through the group unity vow. And this is very much in holding sort of a reverence within yourself. If you would join me for a moment, taking a nice deep breath. We're going to state our intention as a group to hold unity, to hold a harmonized field for our individual self and again for each other. Beloved family. The defenders of truth, sovereignty, and liberation, the guardian families that serve the one from across the multiverse, we call upon you to join us now. Our unification principle deemed as demonstrated in the waves of omni love. We sound our heart, our group note to you now. Our template, please update individually and collectively to be renewed and forever perpetuated in the eternally sustained light of God. Our container today is consecrated and dedicated to the purposes of one, as we endeavor to be the knower of God, to then be the way shower of God. Please sustain us in the eternal power of our consecration. Can we call for gatekeeping to hold our planet, our communities, our missions, our Iseti family, to hold the highest purposes in service to the one light source. Our intention is unification, the cosmic Christ principle as an energetic reality here and now, and we request the handshake of our group today to fortify our spiritual links with the universal cosmic trinity into the core of one, the zero point God matrix, the source of our genesis. With deep reverence for life, beloved God, please breathe the living light into all created form as we set our intention now to be remembered to that which we fully are. As we state our mutual purpose as one, please resurrect all inorganic pattern to the organic living light now and to that we say, thank you, thank you, thank you as we are the cosmic Christ and so it is commanded with loving decree. And thank you so much for holding that space for us. And so later today, I'll be talking a bit about as well the 12th level of intelligence, the avatar matrix, which is really the core fundamental technique that the guardians uh, facilitate. And this is an understanding of connecting to unity consciousness field. And this is what it looks like. This is sort of help with a visual of creating a personal shield within your own body that protects your aura 
From the Guardian perspective, this is important for us to understand a way of shielding our aura from the bombardment of the changes of energies that are happening on the planet at this time. And so this particular current is a 12 base pulse current. And to the Guardians, this is very important because most of the energies and ray frequencies on the planet that have been controlled through various agendas are using 10 dimensional reversals and below. So when we connect to our 12 base current and understand that the base of creation is a 12 base and not a 10 base, we start to again hold the higher frequency of which the cells of our body can now return into more of a perfected imprint of the original divine blueprint that we were created to be. From the Guardian perspective, our current blueprint on our planet has been hijacked, and that means that our original creational blueprint is distorted. And at this particular time of ascension, we have the chance to now fully move into the higher reality spectrum and clear those distortions and choose a higher expression for our race, for our planet, for our species. And as well, human beings are designed to be the synthesizers of extraterrestrial intelligence. So this means that this is humongous, what's happening on the planet at this time. It's beyond even human and planet Earth consciousness. It's impacting extraterrestrial races. It's impacting the solar fields, the galactic fields, the universal fields. There's a lot of intelligence in there. And it's all happening on the Earth now. And this is, of course, why the ETs are so interested in us. So briefly, I'm going to talk about what is ascension, which is synonymous with saying, what is the 2012 timeline? From the Guardian perspective, this is not a belief system. It's the mechanics behind creation. It's a spiritual science. It's how consciousness moves through a time and space matrix. So again, an understanding that energy is conscious and consciousness is energy that that consciousness holds intelligence. When you start to connect to higher frequencies, to higher energies, there's an intelligence and an energy signature that is present as a consciousness field. And this is, again, understanding that 12 base pulse rhythm, what that 12 dimensional shield is and connecting into higher intelligence fields. We learn to start to connect to the cosmic intelligence instead of being operated by the lower intelligence of the ego and the controlled matrices that are a part of the third dimensional planetary system. And this is something that the guardians are really prompting me and pushing me to speak about today, which I'm going to speak about in a bit. But do you understand when I'm talking about dimensions, dimensional planes, dimensions and timelines are the same. So as I'm going to give you a cosmology to kind of help you understand the basis of this information, it's understanding in the higher frequency we go, the higher dimensional planes we access, we're actually skipping forward in time. And certainly many of us can attest through the ascension process, we feel that time is slipping away. Our relationship to time and space is certainly changing. And this is because of dimensional collapse. When I'm talking about the particle and antiparticle fields, these have existed as dualized forms in simultaneous in-breath and out-breath of source. So it's like understanding everything is modeled in the trinity. The particle, antiparticle, and then of course the unity, that which is created by the bonding of the masculine, the feminine, and then the creation. So we understand our reality is also modeled in the same way. We have the particle, which is the magnetic feminine, we have the antiparticle, which is the electric masculine, and therefore we are electromagnetic beings. But our bodies experience that electromagnetism as polarity, as duality, so our consciousness is also, in terms of our physical earthly experience, having that same kind of experience as a self. A part of ascension is merging the electromagnetism and creating a third field, and that third field is a non-charged, non-dualized field. And that's what the unity intelligence is. This is what the 12th dimensional field is. This is a part of the divine destiny and blueprint of humankind to transcend duality through our own electromagnetism and become a trion field or a unity field of intelligence. And this is how the guardians describe the destiny and original blueprint of our race. Now, as humanity is moving into other realities and other dimensions in time during the cycle, this means that timelines Remember that all is existing in simultaneous time. This is where it gets really mind-bending. As we look at a cosmology of the universe and we see multiple layers of dimension, there's a time and space existing and an aspect of our identity, our self, also existing in that time and space. So again, here in the third dimensional plane, 
the way we process our reality is linear, most of us. We look at things from a linear perspective. It appears there's a beginning and there's an end. And again, that's the illusion. The field, the architects of the creation of these timelines, no, understanding that this is a matrix that creates that illusion of time and space. Beyond dimensionalization, beyond these timelines, there is no time. It's all just, again, this primal sound field of undifferentiated God consciousness, the source energy. So we're talking about the timelines, the multiple timelines that are converging with our planet at this time. And so what happens when timelines collapse is certain memories that have been hidden in humanity's evolution start to come to the surface of the mass consciousness fields. And for many of us, we're impacted in ways we don't understand, because even though we may feel the emotion, or we may have certain uh, organic sort of fears or things that come up that feel very primal, we don't always remember that we were witnessing Atlantis, and we were part of the Lemurian culture, and what happened to us then. We think it's something in our 3D life that is off or creating that particular fear or anxiety. So. As these timelines collapse, it means the cellular memory of that timeline, such as let's say Atlantis is a great example, starts to come as a field into the larger consciousness field of the planet itself. And then the human being starts to sense, gee, I feel cataclysm. Gee, I feel terrorism. I'm scared. What is that? Where is that coming from? And then of course there are external sources that manipulate that seed fear memory in humanity because they know it's there. And this is again from the point of the guardians wanting to share from an informed awareness what is happening now on the planet at this particular timeline as we are now entering the galactic off-planet frequencies. What that means is we're going beyond the solar planes, beyond the seven solar planes, and we're starting to access galactic, cosmic, universal frequencies that have never been in this density, in this dimension before. This creates, again, wonderful opportunities of consciousness expansion. And at the same time, it can create a lot of confusion when we don't understand what's going on. Because there's a lot of beings, there's a lot of entities, there's a lot of agendas, and they're all swirling within the mass consciousness field. So again, claiming dominion over your space, learning how to connect and be inter-sustained with your own God connection is very important at this time so that you're not knocked over by these sort of chaotic forces.